So we're going to go through how to create layer groups or folder groups in PhotoP. Works the same way in Photoshop. So I've got a file here that I've shared with you and you're going to download the file. And in order to get it to open up in photop.com, we can just take the file and push it right in here. So in this document, we've got a bunch of different layers. Now, I have to scroll through all my layers, so I'm going to actually close a couple of these panels at the top by just right mouse clicking so I can see everything at once. So I've just got a bunch of shapes here. I've got ellipses, which are circles, polygons, which are the triangles, and rectangles, which are the squares. I'm just using the terminology used in the software. So we don't call them circles, we call them ellipses. And what we're gonna do is create folder groups to organize our shapes. I'm gonna show you a couple of different methods. The first method is just click the folder icon at the bottom of the layers panel. It comes up with a name. By default, I'm just going to double click it and name it ellipses. And I'm going to grab any ellipse layer and pull it into the folder. When I grab one to move it into the folder, I, ha I have a solid line. I need to move a little bit further and you'll notice the rectangle border around the ellipse folder I just made. That means it actually went into the folder. And you can see it's indented a little bit from the left to show you that it went inside. So I'm going to continue pulling the rest of the ellipse layers into the ellipse folder. I don't care what order they're in, I'm just showing you how to create a folder group. So those are all of my ellipses. And they're in their own folder group and I can collapse and I don't really hide the ellipses, they're still showing, but I've put them in a folder to organize my layers panel. And I can expand it and collapse it. I can hide the entire folder group so all of my ellipses or circles will disappear from view. I can still control an individual layer within as well. So if I just want to hide the yellow ellipse, I can do that as well. That's one method of creating a folder group. The next method is my preferred method where I select the layers first and then I put them in a folder. So if I want to put my polygons in their own folder group, I'm going to hold my control key to select the different polygons. Holding the control key will allow me to select layers that are not next to each other. And then I'm going to let go of my control key and I'm going to grab any of the polygon layers that are currently highlighted and shove them on top of the folder icon in the bottom of the layers panel. Now it automatically collapsed the folder with my polygons. I'm going to name the folder so I understand exactly what's inside each folder. And I've created the um, second folder. I'm going to do the same thing for my rectangles. So I'm going to do that last method. All of these files, I'm sorry, all of these layers are next to each other. So I could do the shift click top and bottom if I want to, or I can do control, however you want to do it. And now I'm going to take these and also drag them to their own folder icon, name it what it is by double mouse clicking to rename the folder group. And now again, I can hide in the whole folder. I can also change the layer stacking of a folder group. Right now, my yellow ellipse is being hidden by this polygon because the ellipses are below. So watch what happens to the yellow circle if I move the ellipses folder to the top of the layer stack. Now the whole yellow ellipse is visible. So it still works the same way as layer stacking as it does with stacking layer groups or folders. We can also move folders inside of another folder if you want to. So I can either create folders inside, like in my polygons folder, if I want to create a subfolder, I can click this icon and it will, it didn't create inside there. Um, anyway, let's not do that method. All right, now I can move a folder that's already existing inside another folder. And this is pretty simple to do. So if for whatever reason I want to pull my ellipses into my polygons, 
folder, I wait until it is highlighted with the border around the whole folder. And now it looks like my ellipsis folder disappeared, but it is inside here, we call nested inside the other one. So I can still hide all of my ellipses by clicking the folder icon. I can expand it, I can collapse it. And if I make a mistake, like I didn't mean to move a folder inside another folder, I can always undo with using control Z will back you up in the undo process. So that's how you create folder groups um, in photop.com and it works exactly the same way in Photoshop.